Hello there, Leo here. And if you're watching this video, it's because you probably saw the uh, headline on the post that says, right, talks about uh, if your Facebook ads are not working, uh, here's why and how to fix it or something to that, right? I'm just basically going over this article that I found from Neil Patel, uh, why your Facebook ads are unprofitable and how to fix them. So let me, let me go over that real quick and trying to perhaps uh, help explain a little bit. Uh, this definitely will help me as well. So I hope it helps you just to, to get a understanding on what's going on if, if a Facebook ad is not working, right? What do I need to do? Uh, especially if you are a small business owner here in the Bay Area that doesn't have a lot of time to be testing. Um, and so some answers may, some, some articles like this may perhaps help you to assess what's going on. All right, so let me just minimize here real quick. Um, and you can go to Neil Patel, you can search for Facebook ads are improbable or fixed if you just want to see the, the full um, the full article, right? So Facebook, it's actually it's talked about the Facebook populations, 2 billion monthly optic users. And that translates into a couple billion opportunities to grow your or businesses. Now, obviously, for small local business owners, these 2 billion, obviously, we wouldn't be able to capture all this. If you if we just have a brick and mortar shop, right? Um, but worldwide, two billions that translate that whatever local city your business is, obviously there are a lot of uh, people in your local city are gonna be on Facebook. Now it talks about here. So you create a few Facebook ads and set up a, some campaigns. Now the next thing you know is probably you blew up to, to uh, some money, and that's obviously that happens to me a lot of times for. Right? That's how I continue learning and how I'll be perhaps more careful about uh, avoiding my mistakes, right? Uh, now, hopefully that you should take that in consideration to uh, also as well, uh, not to just stop advertising at all, right? But what can you do to improve it or who can you go ask for help? Um, so to make matters worse, you saw almost no return on investment, right? There was nobody uh, buying from your ad. There was nobody... Uh, liking it or anything like that. And there's a good reason why this is this commonly happens. Facebook ads require specific offers and targeting options to be successful. You cannot just toss up a Facebook ad and expect, expect uh, two times on a return on investment instantly. It, it doesn't work like that. Facebook ads aren't like other advertising channels. Uh, and what it means over here, for example, here are some of the main reasons why your Facebook ads aren't working. And then it goes into uh, show a few steps to fix them. So why your Facebook ads aren't working? If 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 they're not working, it's probably because you're doing some of this stuff that he is gonna go over. Okay. Uh, so the traditional advertising that we see online is paper clip, right? Um, it says over here many smart people many smart people have pointed to paper clip and organic searches as this as this as the top converting marketing channels for the past few years. So before uh, social media, ba basically people will go online and type in uh, uh, how to find a solution to the problem, right? Uh, either because you need a, uh, a drill, because you ha you need to make a hole in your wall, or or because you need some type of tool in your house because you're doing some type of work uh, or, or maintenance, or your tooth hair, so you're going to go on the internet and find a, a, a doctor, right? Or research a doctor in your city. Uh, so that's what he's talking about, pay-per-click and organic searches on on, uh, on Google, right? Like for example, if I go here and I go and, and do this dentist in Fairfield because my teeth, one of my tooth hurts so much, okay? And then I go, and this is traditional pay-per-click over here. Uh, so many windows open. Let me close some of this stuff. Uh, allergies, allergies, allergies. Uh, okay, where was I? Where was I? All right. So it all comes down. It, it all comes down to the intent for this type of advertising, right? Where people were searching for a uh, solution to the problem. People type exactly what they're looking for in Google search bar. And that means that these people are more likely to convert or sign up or to buy. 
So for example, if someone type in uh, email automation and use this as, as an example, they're probably evaluating their options, right? All you have to do is create a paperclip ad that it talks about exactly what they're saying and your ads looks pretty good, okay? Then going back to the dentist situation, if your ad comes on the top, you more likely have a pretty good chance to get success with attracting customers. Um, so people often use search engines just like I did when they want to find something specific or solve a problem. Now compare that to social media. Nobody is actively looking for any products on Facebook or Twitter, right? I don't go here on Facebook to uh, go find a solution to my problem, right? Just there to see what my friends are doing. It's not like I'm going to go to come to the uh, search bar to uh, find a solution to my problem. That doesn't happen very often. I don't think it happens at all. So one report years ago claimed that less than 1% of sales come from social. Why is that number so low? It's because people are discovering you on social media for the first time, right? So if they see you on, on social media, it's more likely they, they're not going to take action right away. Um, here's an advertising. Uh, they're not going to take action right away to buy from you because more likely they're going to be discovering you for the first time, right? Uh, they just basically go on a social because they want to see what their friends are up for, are up to. Uh, or they want to see some other cat videos and stuff like that. So they're not ready to buy. They're not even sure if they need your product or services yet. So social media is seen as a brand awareness tool as opposed to a conversion one. And that's not very surprising when you think about it. People use social media to follow their friends and family. They might use it to find new buys to quickly digest before moving on with their day but they are not naturally browsing Facebook or Twitter or Instagram to shop for the latest sale, right? All of this means that the same advertising strategies you use, for, for example, on Google AdWords, you should not use it uh, or you you cannot necessarily be applied to Facebook, right? It's its own world to use social media. Now, here's how to respond and turn your Facebook advertising into a conversion machine, okay? Use this the buying cycle to inform your offer, all right? Uh, so what it means by that is that you're going to, you're not going to go into a sale mode when people doesn't know your business. If you're just starting, um, get people introduced on social media to your business, right? If you're on a restaurant, you're starting what, you know, put some pictures about your food and, and special, get, make people aware that you just open and you have some specials going on. Um, so don't just try to sell like, Hey, I'm just open. Come here. Right. What, what can you do to incentivize and, 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 and to make them aware of your uh, delicious food? Um, you wouldn't want to send just like, come here, come and check it out if, if, if people doesn't know you. Um, now, same applies to people that perhaps already been to your location. Uh, you wouldn't be sending, um, let's say, a dentist, right? You wouldn't be sending something uh, to incentivize him to come to your location uh, or to sign up for something specifically that you do or like an offers promotion uh, if they already signed up, right? Those people that already signed up, you you may want to target them with the different advertising. Uh, and, and here it shows the buying cycle. I like this, right? Uh, it has the awareness section, which is the far left. It has a consideration section in the middle, right? People are looking at your business to see and they, and they check out a couple of times your website to see if they want to buy from you or not. And then it has the purchase cycle, right? They, they These people are ready to buy. They have their money in their hands. It's just a matter of who they're going to uh, pay, right? Uh, for example, people in awareness stage have no idea what your product is or why they need it. Uh, so the consideration is where you probably can use education, awareness as well. Uh, so don't waste your time sending in a product ad. Okay, let's go ahead and skip all this. It has some... Uh, Example, so the first issue or, or the first thing you got to be aware of is what buying cycle your customer is and what advertising you're going to build based on the buying cycle, right? So more likely you want to start people uh, the far right by awareness, by putting pictures of beautiful, uh, uh, of delicious food if you're a restaurant owner or putting pictures about educational part of it. Uh, if you're HVAC service, right, tips about keeping your 
uh, AC running smoothly or so, in, in the Brentwood area or the Solano County area, whatever you are located, right? Uh, or, or things you should do before uh, calling uh, a re AC repair, right? Something like that to make them aware. Uh, and then obviously you have the consideration phase, which is okay. When you notice, you you click on the, on your or ad. Uh, there's something there that caught your attention. Now the consideration phase is perhaps I'm going to continue sending advertising to those people by using remarketing, uh, by sending a special offer and promotion, right? If, if let's say uh, somebody visited my website about AC repair, and then I can send an ad saying, hey, you notice you, you, you visited our website, consider AC repair services, what questions can we answer? Oh, by the way, here are 15%, see $15 off coupon, right? And then the purchase cycle. All right, so let's see, how can you, you okay, so Leo, how can we uh, get each customer on each cycle, right? How can we, send advertising specifically to each cycle. So that's where custom audiences comes in. Um, in here, it, it's gonna talk about Facebook, but a lot of uh, ads platforms has this custom audiences option. Uh, they may be named differently, right? Uh, so it says here, custom audiences, what all high return on investment campaigns have in common is having a custom audience, right? He has, it's having that, uh, that loyal uh, base of clients. Uh, or not that loyal base of client, but it's having that process and systems in places where you can uh, talk to some people in a specific way when they don't know your business, talk to another group of people in, in another way when they already know your business, they already uh, check you out, right? And, and you're just basically thinking more about it if they should buy from you or not. And then there's the uh, you know, that type of people, which is your existing clients, right? How to keep them, those clients continue to come back or, or, or have them happy that they will rave about your products and services and, 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 and refer you other people. So custom audiences. Most people don't want to buy anything on Facebook. We already talked about that. That's especially true for your cold fans. Cold fans meaning people that doesn't know you or for other people who are just hearing about you for the first time. The solution is to use custom audiences. These are essentially refined lists of people who have already expressed interest in what you do. They allow you to promote more relevant offers that convert better and cost less over time. Now, here it goes to, through with custom audiences, how to do it on Facebook. You can definitely contact me, uh, how to go about that, digitaltrack.co or 707-410-0307. Uh, here it goes with the options, right? You can do custom audiences by uploading files. You can do custom audiences by people that visit your website or specific pages on your website. Or you can do custom audiences by engagement, right? Within your business page, Facebook business page or Instagram or people that view videos from you, etc. And so many uh, options for engagement. That's how you do custom audiences, at least on Facebook, then Google, Instagram. Uh, there's other ways to do that. Uh, okay, so build your custom audience, right? Why is that important? Is because that way you can separate people that um, see something specifically about you. So, for example, in here, it's talking about this website visitors specifically, right? It's separating over here people that watch a uh, uh, pricing page. How about you have like a restaurant? And same thing, you have like a menu page, right? Uh, or uh, if, if you have a business with a pricing page, right? What you want to track that, um, what type of advertising can you do for people that visited your pricing page or people that visited your about page, right? Uh, so that's custom audience, separating people that take specific action on, on your website. Now, when you're new, when you're small, probably you just want to target everything, right? Uh, especially if you're just starting. See, here's another example how this custom audience can work. Okay, let's see what else specific blog post, specific guide, okay. So he's just talking about how to build the the, the custom audience for, for specific areas, but when you don't have them big of a line presence or you're just starting, uh, you should start with uh, uh, being a custom audience for everybody. And then you wanna, you wanna separate it by days, right? An audience that is 70 days old, meaning people that just visit you within seven days then another one for like 15 days, another one for like 30 days, etc. You can break it down by that as well. Um, 
and then you can exclude other people okay so that's an, um, another solution to the problem right so so far we covered the, the issues right try to sell people uh, when they're in their wrong in social media right try to sell people when they're social media uh, being aware of the buying cycle and then we're going into some uh, something to do or some some ways to fix it right creating custom audiences um, and then over here it talks about how to use sell with Facebook advertising without selling and it just provides some examples like for example the best way to start selling on Facebook is to first stop selling so what exactly is that supposed to mean it's just basically not just posting sell 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 uh, on your first when people see you for the first time right that just basically is it's a little bit spamming uh, and it provides some examples now also if if they see you for the first time maybe you want to touch more into the emotions of people uh, for example here it shows uh, an ad that talks about emotions, right? Share it if you will wear this T-shirt. Is obviously uh, makes people aware. It has over five thousand, uh, almost six thousand shares over here, right? Uh, because it's invited people to do that. So there's a push of advertising, but at the same time, uh, there's that a call to action. There's that we uh, ask to people to share, uh, especially those that uh, that will wear something like this, right? They it's being social, right? <laughs> You're just asking people. And so it, it, it also helps uh, go viral reference to the advertising. Uh, so and it says over here, the sec this ad over here, it, it, it taps into the power of emotion, right? It's, it looks much more inviting and share worth it just because it, it, it has a uh, great mission, which is every purchase saves one animal, right? Every purchase saves one animal. Now people are motivated to purchase. They feel like they are saving a dog in need. And the ad doesn't even gives them an incentive to purchase. Oh, sorry, it says the ad gives them an incentive to purchase, which is uh, touching the emotions by saving animals if, for those uh, animal lovers, right? They feel like they're giving back to the community. Uh, that's the mark of a great ad. They make, they make you feel good about the decision you made. And they take your mind off the fact that you are spending hard-earned money. I'm sure you probably can go back and think about that situations where you purchase something um, you didn't even think about the money you were spending just because you know you were doing some good, right? Uh, so the goal here is to find a value that appeals to your audience beyond just the product itself. Now, uh, some other times you may just provide an amazing deal that people will not resist, right? Uh, how? And the same thing goes for like if you're a brand new business owner, what kind, what kind of amazing deals can you do so that people can come by and try you at least in the beginning, right? So that people can come by and check you out. Now, if you have a great product and service, if you have a great restaurant, if you have great meals, if you have great services, that initial spend, spending you did, it, it will pay off because people obviously will continue to come back. They already know you. They already know your food. All you have to do basically is every now and then send them specials. Um, through either more advertising or if you are using some type of email marketing, right, sending emails or text with offers that you may have going on. Uh, it, it, this is the case over here, right? It's a great offer, 50 cent frosting, right? Uh, this is another off, great offer, right? Uh, if you've seen this for the free first time, I don't know what they do. I don't really understand what they do. Go beyond keyword targeting. So keyword targeting, right? Okay. So... I may want to try something like this. It's a free trial, right? And I need some help with keyword targeting whenever I'm doing some advertising on Google AdWords for a client, right? So this is incentivizing me to go and check it out uh, even though I don't know them. But there's, there's the risk goes away just because it's free. Uh, then here's another way to fix your ad. Give your ad creative a much-needed upgrade. And here it goes by uh, looking at the the headlines right here has a big headline of, of free and then free resources for hotspot this is obviously dedicated targeted to people that does marketing uh hotspot is a, a tool that you can use as a customer relationship manager right you can upload all your clients there and that's how you can use it for marketing and sales uh and obviously here in the advertising you can see that there's a big giant free picture that helps if it says free right the headline also has a uh, great proposition, which is 12 awesome hotspot resources that won't cost you a dime. So, and then it breaks down the benefits of the ad or, or why the ad is so great. And then it goes into some tips. And 
So that other uh, great way to fix your ads is basically by provide by create by giving a great creative upgrade to your advertising that will incentivize your your audience or your possible clients to come and check you out. So now start testing everything you improve to improve the results. You can now see that there's a lot of variable within uh, each Facebook ad campaigns. That means you're never truly done with Facebook ads. Instead, you need to keep testing over and over time to continue to lower costs and increase returns. Here's a perfect example from Ad Espresso. Let's start by looking at two ads. All right, so it just looks at two ads. Now, here's where you as a business 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 owner may want some may, may want to look for some help. If advertising online is critical to your business, you know you need it. Uh, and, but this obviously becomes fairly cumbersome for you. Uh, then, you know, find some help. Uh, you can definitely call me. Self-promotion over there for me. You can definitely call me, 707-410-0307. You can visit digitaltrack.co if you're a small local business owner that just basically needs some help with uh, increasing the adver- your online presence through online paid advertising, right? Just because, as you can see, there's a lot of pr- process that goes into place here to uh, great improve your ads and to make it good, to make sure they work. Uh, there's a lot of testing that needs to go through. Uh, that's the okay. So let's see. Goes to some uh, uh, testing. It says conclusion. Facebook has billions of users, and yet it still doesn't get the credit it deserves. Many people think that Facebook ads don't work. The reality, though, is that Facebook ads can work well if you structure them correctly. I mean, there's a reason why people are advertising, right? Look, all these people are paying money to advertise, all right? Uh, this over here, advertising, okay? There's a reason why. I don't think these people, I mean, these are rich people. If you go and look them up, they have money. If, and I don't think the rich people are just going to continue to spend money on stuff like this if it doesn't work, all right? Uh, let's see what else we got here. So I'm just going through my timeline, and then more ads will come up, Right okay, Here's another advertising. Advertisement. All right. Where were we? So Facebook ads aren't as easy as they seem at first glance. You can just boost a few posts or buy some followers and expect those efforts to translate into new revenue. People don't go don't go to Facebook to buy. They go there to hang out with their friends and family. That means that your advertising approach needs to be completely different from those on other channels. If you don't know what you're doing, you might blow your through cash that you can afford to lose. Facebook ads ultimately depend on mark, making sure that the right person is seeing the right offer at the right time. Start by creating separate offers at each stage of your buying cycle, then use custom audiences to catch to match them up with them. Uh, create a few compelling ad variations to get going, then never stop testing. You won't discover the secret formula overnight, but stick with it and your numbers will start heading in the right direction in no time. All right, so that's it for today. And if you got any value, please go ahead and like, share, comment. If you have any questions, uh, I know this is not me. This is not my article, but it definitely brings some good, great points um, that I constantly hear over and over and that I constantly um, take as approach when advertising online. But if you have any more questions, feel free to visit my website, digitaltrack.co. Um, schedule a call if you would like to talk to more or just call, text, or email me. Uh, Looking forward to talking to you soon. This is Leo. Bye.